Hello people and we are going to continue with Hitch Clan but before we do I wanna I did already create one backup clan and I'm creating another and these backup clans remember how I said I was going to give Dewey Blink uh like a nice Tom? Yeah well I wanna be able to avoid having to like design that Tom and stuff and only have to maybe tweak a few things, so I wanna just generate him. And I created this completely randomly generated clan. I picked some pretty looking cats, but you can see that all of these are really old. I could just change that, like I could age down deer model. I think that thoughtfulness would probably go well actually with um, Dewey Blake's personality, but I don't know, I feel like I want to see more options. And we've got some of these cute little apprentices that, if we ever need more apprentices to join the clan, we could use them. And even a little kit, who, oh, if we need someone to, like, have a kitten to adopt, we could, though we'd have to age him down. But I want to create another one. Alright, we've got a 21 moon old cat. God, that's a much uh, lower age gap, and we could also make him a little younger even. And we've got, oh look at that, soft spirit. That's perfect. The exact age is him, and I think those personality traits could add up well as well. Perfect. I have no idea if I did this right, but, oh look at him, there he is. If I try to give him a mate now, would Dewey Blink be a good one? Yes. Alright. Good. So I'm going to exit really quickly to give them a, a romantic relationship. And then we'll finally start to play. Alright everyone, this episode is going to be... Um, like a quiet lead back one in that I mean I don't know what's going to happen but in terms of like what I do because it is it's pretty late so I really can't be loud because um, my birds are in the next room and they're sleeping and if I'm too loud they're going to hear me and I'm gonna disrupt their sleep and uh, yeah it's pretty important for birds to get a certain amount of sleep especially when it's getting to like spring and uh yeah and when it's getting to like spring and you know they're all getting hormonal and stuff it's important to not have their day like day increase too much or else they're all gonna start wanting to make babies and that's kind of a problem like i don't mind occasional babies but only when everyone is ready physically and emotionally financially everything for it and definitely not when it's a bunch of like a bunch of hens trying to kill each other over it so yeah um let's see what's going on with these, these cats um watch their spilling underappreciated and she's also apparently recovering from birth even though She's recovering from birth. She hasn't given birth yet. Oh no, I may have... I may have messed something up, but we'll see if she'll still give birth next moon. She should. Um, I may have messed things up when I was in, but she's feeling underappreciated. Flicking needle is assigning cast to the, to the patrols. Right to the snapping. Still really wanna, um, he's also sick, apparently. Um, cold, I feel like, um, cause I remember the message was also, I feel like they're, I think I forgot to reset something. We'll see if it causes trouble, but I'm pretty sure he was supposed to get sick next moon as well. Uh, let's see what, what sickness he actually has. Okay, it's heat exhaustion. And he can't work, so if anyone else is in trouble, uh, th then that's that's bad. 
Luigi is feeling lazy. Rock Whisker got sent to Fox. Handy Shadow is staring off into space. Almond Belt is as well. And she's also sick and the medicine cat can't take care of her, so that's a hard one. Um, how is your relationship with Looking Needle doing, actually? Because it looks like it's pretty close. I do wonder if... I'm gonna try to uh, send them off solo again today and see if Looking Needle reciprocates in any way, because I wouldn't mind there being another couple. Pulheart is helping gather herbs. What a good girl. Um, Moonstem is assigned to the hunting patrol, I need to remember that. Stuck is trying to set a good example for, uh, I guess, do we blink and soft spirit? Because those are the only younger cats. Uh, oh, and a thrush, a thrush spot? Yeah. But they're like, barely young. So. Soft spirit is decorating his nest. And in his case, I know it has to do with the romance thing. I also did not put them as that secure with each other, so. They gave me trap. So, clearly the game ships. Do we blink once a wall and is also injured because the game does not want things to be good for these people? Thrushpot caught a huge rabbit and is also sick. Great, lovely. Uh, Moonstem, hunting patrol. Oh, wait. to do something dangerous. You're a deputy now. <laughs> if you weren't the deputy, then I would probably let you, but you're the deputy, and th that's just... That's so dangerous. See, like, these people might do it. And you guys have a training patrol. that nothing happened, but poor guy, he just came here. Alright, I'm pretty nervous. Let's really quickly see what the Starkling Cats think, and we're going to go and try to skip a moon, but I might have to actually, like, manually add the kits in if the game <laughs> messed that up. He's comforting another Starkling Cat. These two have been dead for a long time. You're sad seeing how the clan has changed. Do you think it's changed for the worse? You're watching over Fancy Shadow. I definitely think that Fancy Shadow is pretty much like a daughter to Tough Claw. Let's see. Alright. Um, Lily J is having an identity crisis. Hedge Clan is probably going to die. Alright, thank goodness the kittens are okay. That's good. Last time it was it was similar but it was um like that she refused to talk about like acknowledge the birth at all but she was still like praying over the kids and stuff uh, this time it's a little bit different but i'm pretty sure there was something about blah blah still probably poor vine tooth puddle heart we Kit, so I guess one of the new ones. Poor Puddleheart. Wait, wasn't wasn't Wavepelt saying something about Puddleheart's death? I'm gonna have to um like check, but I'm pretty sure he also said something about um Ahmedpelt's death. So um, 
I'm pretty worried about her now. Poor Puddle Heart, though. Um, Thrush Spot no longer has a stomach ache. <laughs> I'm very happy for you, Thrush Spot. But, um, also sorry about the whole, you know, your, your mom dying thing. Dewey Blink tries to stay strong despite their rat bite. Oh, goodness. I don't even remember. All of this happening, but jeez. I'm glad that he's doing better though. So let's just be visual um vine tooth. Vine tooth apparently misses her. She did help out in the medicine dead a lot. They're like, oh, and the medicine tin, that's so better. Alright. Alright, we know all of that. I'm going to see that in a second. Will G is greeting first spot. Let me just quickly see if there's anything. Kit. Um, that was one of the names of new kids. Um, Badger Kit is already causing trouble. Alright, Thrush Bud and Almond Pelt are getting along. Dewey Blink and Stork Teft are getting along. Soft Spirit is getting along with Almond Pelt. They are like the outsiders, so that makes sense. Alright. The kittens are adorable. Let me really quickly look at Starkland though, because poor Puddlehunt. Yeah. And I guess Sipfoot is the one in this comfort here, probably. She also, I think, kind of wanted to be deputy. Tough Blood is missing a lot more. I feel like it'd be fine to still call her a Tough Star, honestly. Um, Plush Star is calling an important clan meeting recently. I mean, yeah, a vigil, I assume. I wonder which kitten um, was saved, by the way. Was it Badger Kid or the other one? Flicker Needle is starting to feel stressed now. Probably because Battle Heart was so useful in that regard. My tooth is feeling excited alright then my tooth. Also grieving but also excited. Um how are you feeling? Are you still Yeah he might actually die. He's pretty um he's really really old and he's got a heat stroke and there's no one to really help him. Lily G, who now identifies as female, is heading to the dead place. Um, a whisker is relaxing in camp. And, you know, green over his mate. Andy Shadow's being a good girl. Almond Pelt is, I guess, angry. Stroke Tuft is napping. Soft Spirit wants to go on patrol. I've got you. You want to eat a shrew? I don't think you can actually go out right now. Yep. <laughs> oh. Little badger kit. This one's also a boy. It's Ivy Kit. And he's boss. 
actually have clans, so... I wonder if we're ever gonna find out the other pair. That's interesting, I didn't realize um, it was someone from another clan. I feel like we need to appoint a medicine cat. Like, at least temporarily, you know? I feel like... Dude, we can't work, so we can't be here. Structured is supposed to be thoughtful, so maybe just temporarily I'm going to have her be a medicine cat just so she can, you know, keep everyone from dying. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to go out on your own. And I'm going to bring some. Actually, I do want you to go with the land belt, so. Alright, the moss could actually help with the heat exhaustion if they like wet it or something, so. That's good. Do, do whatever you want. Jeez, you're the deputy flickering. You don't act like it, please. Alright, the rest of you are going out too. Let's try and go through the relationships. And now in Bloodstar is getting pretty old. Oh, she seems pretty close to our kids, but apparently a lot closer to our kids. It doesn't really look like Flynn and Needle thinks that much of the belt. But we'll see if that'll change, like, with the recent event. Fight Tooth still likes everyone pretty much. And yeah, of course he's gonna feel very good about Stroke Stuff after that. And Stroke Stuff was always pretty close to Fight Tooth. He was doing a lot to raise her, I think. She didn't really have any parents. So it's even more fitting for her to be to take up this position. She also dislikes Patrick Kent. <laughs> Stuck daft. That's not nice. The romantic like for Pansy Shadow is seemingly decreasing. So I think that's kind of Also dislike Dewey. That's interesting. Mm, maybe these two will start to get along more in the absence of Battle Heart. Who knows though? I think that actually decreased her romantic feelings towards flickering needle as well. That's interesting. Alright, soft spirit. 
seems to be having all good relationships at the moment, and I think I'm gonna let them confess to each other if it's meant to be. Not gonna really push them. Might have them go on a few patrols together, but that's it. Wait, did... Does Dewey Blink not have... Did I mess that up? I messed that up. Oops. Uh, right, I'm gonna have to change that. You should not have any dislike towards your mother, though. Kid is close to his brother. Mutually dislikes to accept them as close to his mother. And Ivy Kid seems more closer to his brother and has a less good but still good relationship with the North Star. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go and fix. Do we blink not having a relationship with Soft Spirit? That's my bad. I think I might have forgot something, but um, I only skipped the moon once, so I don't really think we need to do anything about all these injuries. I'm pretty sure they were gonna happen anyways. So, uh, yeah. Um, well, first of all, let's see if I fixed it. And then second, oh, change mentor is actually an option this whole time. <laughs> Oops. Um, I was looking in the wrong place, that's why. But, um, you know, back when Moonpa was being apprenticed to Plucker Needle, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it. But, yeah, we'll check it, and then we'll actually go through everyone again, because why not? Huh? D did I mess something up? He's appeared, but I thought I said his romantic like to 30. Uh, hmm. Well, let's read this, these, and then I guess we'll read. Poor thing. I guess we'll read again. Pansy Shadow wants to have kids. That's interesting. I don't know about the trash You're a apprentice, sir, when you better get what? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to go change that again, I guess. And if that doesn't work, then who knows, maybe it's not meant to be. Alright, there we go. I don't know why that didn't initially work. I also don't know why he feels so strongly about the kids, but there we go. Sorry, I'm still very much getting used to um, editing files like that, but um, yeah, it was definitely supposed to be Romance at 30 and Platonic at 30 from the start of the moon, so yeah, sorry that I messed that up. Flicker and Needle, come on. Probably about where they were during the whole game captured by two legs thing. Alright, and finally, let's look at this just in case. About what? The sword foot? What's gonna happen to? Ivy Kid, Kid, the, like, literally just born baby. Maybe Ivy Kid was the one who got attacked by the snake, and that's why Bottle Heart ends up dying. Alright, 
thank goodness my tooth is okay. First spot. You guys need to get that snake, seriously. Do we blink as recovered? Ivy Kid has a stomach ache, so I guess maybe he ate something he shouldn't have, and that's what Subfoot wanted to warn him about. And there are more moss. That's good. Th there's more moss. Do we blink is lying about something? Jeez, Rob Wesker. Come on, Rob Wesker. It's okay, you almond pelt. He wasn't born very long ago, so it's understandable. But Ivy Kid is apparently very upset by this. Are names really that important to, like, little baby toddlers? our spot and do we blink the siblings are getting along um, in case you forgot or maybe are new here um, do we blink was mentored by thrust spots mother and so I kind of see them as siblings because they were kind of raised together huh that's interesting I will keep that in mind I think it's should I get even be eating prey at this point <laughs> these kittens are really taking over everything what is Dewey Blake's secret that it needs to be shared jeez these dead cats really like to worry me You're just recovering from birth. Alright, that's fine. You're helping gather herbs. You're feeling happy, apparently. And you're feeling... Alright, you've recovered as well. That's good. You're doing good, and you don't seem upset about being a medicine cat right now. So, maybe this career change will actually be good for you. She can still hunt. It's not gonna let it in game, but I think she can do it. Huh? Lily G wants to surprise someone with a gift. Former apprentice is strict of So, I wonder if some of, um, some of the tension between Lily G and Pansy Shadow was actually because Lily G was like, I don't know, jealous? Uh, is her the right word of her identity, but, you know, something like that. Kind of like, you know, wanting to express herself like Pansy Shadow does, but not really knowing how. I don't know. I honestly don't understand, um, like, being upset with your assigned gender, as I've personally not had that issue at all, but... Uh, yeah, so I, I don't really know, but that's kind of my interpretation. Rock Whisker wants to chase a rabbit. Can you go out? You can't. Alright, I'll send you out on a hunting patrol. <laughs> She's such a wholesome person. What they're about to do, that, that sounds very menacing and ominous. Alright, Soft Spirit and Rot Whisker are gonna need to go on uh, on hunting patrol. Two Blink is feeling sassy. His first spot wants to be alone and is injured. Can she go out? No. What are you feeling nervous about? Oh yeah, the sickness, right? Makes sense. Poor Ivy Kid. Um, so you two, and I guess I'll send you as well. And you guys are going on a hunting patrol. Um, 
I'll do one more attempt to have them like train or something. Someone needs to go herb gathering. Maybe we can have two herb patrols then. Yeah, that would be good. fitting into this role quite nicely. Sorry that you didn't get a shrew. And you still seem to. I feel like this about to be blink, but... Mm. Uh, what about do we blink? Mm, yeah, it still seems good as well, but now there's a bit of jealousy, apparently. I wonder what he's jealous of. Lolly G's thing say anything about being jealous of no actually. Hmm. But yeah, those two still seem very close. I don't remember when Lily G and Blushstar got so close, but it is a good thing. And Ahmed felt obviously still has feelings. Now they've increased a lot for Flicker Needle. Uh, what about Flicker Needle themselves? Okay, now they seem to finally be catching on a little bit about this very, very long time of having a crash on you. <laughs> and I think we're gonna keep going. Get Moonstem. Um, you know who else broke the warrior code though? So, you yeah, gotta be kinda hypocritical of her to punish you. Soft Spirit and Dewey Blink become mates. Oh, nice. Flipping Needle has a running nose. Ivy Kid, thank goodness, has recovered. Everyone is really struggling with Ivy Kid's name for some reason. <laughs> Flicker Needle is continuing to lie. Fast Spot and Rot Whisker are finally starting to get along, it seems. This is the second one in a row that something kind of negative has happened between these two. It almost feels like Dewey Blink is kind of opposing me, forcing the storyline, but I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe it'll work out. Maybe not. But Apparently Badger Kid and Ivy Kid aren't getting along very well either. Soft Spirit and Dewey Blink have become mates, so... Maybe I shouldn't worry so much. You see, she's proud of Soft Spirit. Yeah, someone needs to go get that snake before it kills another person. Flickering Needle is feeling nervous, apparently. You're running low on fever fuel. You're feeling underappreciated. Mm. We'll try and have you do something fun then. Common Pell just feeling a sense of dread. I honestly kind of agree remembering that someone said something about you dying. <laughs> that sounds even good. Well, 
let's actually see all the newest people's relationships. Um, yeah, they're definitely bickering, but it doesn't seem like the relationship is that bad, actually. So that's good. Um, but, well, at least on Ivy Kid's side. Jeez. Badger Kid apparently does not think very kindly of Ivy Kid. Hmm. All right, so no, they're they're getting closer. I think. Hmm. Well, maybe we could see it like this before they only, you know, met at certain times, you know, and didn't really have any proper view of like each other's flaws and stuff so there's gonna be a few bumps while they figure out how to actually get along when they live together but I don't think there's like any actual threat to the relationship I wonder if Dewey Blink will get to mentor one of these kids since he seems to like them so much maybe Lilygy would feel better if she got to mentor one of them but Maybe there are other cats that would be more suited for it. Blusher may actually be too old at this point. But maybe one of them will become a medicine cat. That'd be good. Struck Tuft definitely has a few cats who she seems to have a bit of a problem with. Oh wow. Soft Spirit really loves you. How's your relationship with your daughter? I think it's gotten better, maybe? What? How do you feel about your father? I think it has gotten a little better. Lily does seem to have a lot of tension within the clan. Reasons I don't quite get, but it's okay. You know, especially for a loving cat, it's kind of weird how the game has elected to do that. Stork Tuft, oh, maybe that's why. Maybe it's. Um, Stork Tuft was mentored by Lily J, right? So. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's her mentor's influence why she seems to have so many kind of tense relationships. If we have you and some other cats go out. Oh, go hunting. See? Hopefully that'll help. That's kind of what I was hoping. going to be leave there again. So, I'm a little worried about that. And I'm gonna split the recording there so that it's easier to decide if I can just split the episode or not. <laughs> Take 
dang it, flickering little out of one position and straight into the next. Tooth is really upset about uh, Puddle Heart, I guess. Rot Whiskers is starting to feel better though. I wonder if Dewey Blink is being so lovey dovey that he's not like doing enough work. Really, she's thinking about love. Hmm. Do we have any idea who she could be thinking of? Not really. Maybe it's more thinking about how so many other cats seem to be in love. Or maybe it's with an outsider. Who knows? Rot Whisker is still being Rot Whisker. <laughs> Thrushbot wants to be Debbie. I kind of figured she would. Maybe at some point, Thrushbot. Maybe not right now, though. Oh, you poor thing. That's the red light. I bet um, Flickery Needle is telling horror stories about being captured. <laughs> the kitty cats can be kind of ungrateful like that, but also, I mean, I guess we don't know how those two legs actually treated her, so. Um, treated them. I, I don't know why I keep. Yeah, but then again, I guess we don't really know how the two legs actually treated them, so. Might not have been good. I think it is trying to be very intimidating. But I also admire soft spirit, so that's very interesting. Yeah, soft spirit is like so the opposite of what Ivy Kid seems to want to be. seems to dislike soft spirit. I guess as a younger sister maybe she doesn't quite yeah maybe she doesn't quite uh, approve of soft spirit quite yet. Ah uh, but look the relationship is good and seriously I wonder if I think I might have actually done that myself an accident, but it will keep his relationship with the kids. It's cute. Soft Spirit feels so secure around Dewey Blink, though. I did not do that. I did not set it to 100. The game did that. Kind of a conflicting relationship with Ivy Kid, apparently. You also dislike White Tooth, interestingly enough. Interesting that this little bit of romantic love isn't quite going away. I wonder if, I wonder if I should send them on like a solo mission together to see if 
we can either reignite it or fully put it out because it just feels you know it feels like a loose end Is Lily J um injured? Yep. This pray so I guess we can do it today. I think someone really seems to want <laughs> I don't know what soft spirit did to her, like wrong a tree at some point, but those trees really have it out for it. Oh no, Ivy Kid. But there's really no one in the dark forest right now, but it's still sweet. Uh, is there? Is there someone in the dark forest? What is up with you two? Um, not sure, but Tough Claw is proud of Flicker Needle. There, no, there, there is not anyone in the dark forest. Those are supposed to be flowers, I think, of some sort. But they l briefly looked like ladybugs, and I thought that was funny because that's such a non threatening sight. <coughs> oh no. Maybe the end is near for him. Yeah, Structive seems very much content to be a medicine cat. That's interesting. Why are you feeling gloomy? Soft spirit, someone seriously. It's like the universe knows you're not supposed to be there or something. Jeez. First spot, come on. Don't be suspicious. Badger Kid is napping, and Heavy Kid is curious about his mentor. Let's actually see how how he's being treated right now. Well, that's not good. But hopefully he'll be okay. I hope.
Yeah, his relationship with Badger Kid is definitely starting to go very awry, and he doesn't like Ivy Kid at all at this point. Always gotta check on the romantic relationships just in case. But I, yeah, I think the dislikes receded a little bit. I think I am right. Whisker needs to go on medicine patrol, you need to go on hunting patrol. You two are going hunting, and let's see- n not you. You two are going hunting. Keep messing this up. I think the two of you can go gather herbs and then you can trade because you're you guys should trade. She might approve of her brother's relationship now. Alright, I'm going to skip it and I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to skip it. And then we'll end the episode. Poor Vine's youth. was coming, but it's definitely sad to see him go. Poor Pansy Shadow just keeps losing people as well. I don't know, Fraught Whisker. It really doesn't feel to me like the clan's moving on. So many people are upset by this. Hmm, well that's not good. No one's gonna judge you. Oh, see? You did good.